Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is McLovin Space, and welcome to Simple Rockets 2. This episode is going to be about the Rings of Eurados, so this is going to be pretty fun. I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's running. Deep. <laughs> Debu streams. <laughs> Maybe not. Just kidding. Uh, Debo streams. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the rings of Uranus with this nice shiny rocket here. Um, I, literally, this was the 400 ton KG lift. And oh. I forgot to add my camera. Haha, -ha, hello everybody. Welcome. Uh, don't forget that the super chat is now open. So you guys can go ahead and... <laughs> it's Debo. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, just messing with you. Uh, but yeah, this is my 400 kg lift to orbit. It is reusable, but we're not going to reuse it. Just because... Um, we're not going to. Simple as that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go right to apparently orbit, which that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. Ooh, whoops. Okay. Let's go to the launch pad. Um, looks like we're at night. Looks like the landing legs just broke. <laughs> That's okay. We're not using them at all. We don't need autopilot right now. Um, okay. So, with out further ado, before that destroys it anymore. Um, okay, RCS off and landing legs off. I really hope there's not one that's still on there, but okay. In three, two, one, launch. Nice, beautiful launch. By the way, guys, I'm going to slow this down. Actually, pause it for a minute. You guys can see my little... I hope you guys can see it. Um, my mini MiG tower uh, used to be over here. It used to tower, like, all the way up here. It was, it was really tall. Now it's on top of the home base and all that good stuff. That kind of looks cool. I'm taking a picture. That kind of looks cool. All right, back to the launch. <laughs> looks like a BFR with those fins. Yeah, it does. We're like a mixture of like the new Glenn and stuff like that. Yeah, they're right here. Delta V usage is right here. Uh, I'm not going to be returning this rocket though. Okay, so let's just fast forward this. This is going to take too long. We got plenty of fuel in this thing, and I mean plenty. We could actually orbit Earth probably twice. <laughs> Not really, no. But you could definitely land with this rocket if you wanted to. So, we're going to go ahead and slow it down. I want to be at least whoop, somewhat higher up than not higher up than normal but like 95. I'm good with 95. Or 97. Okay, that works too. Either way, we'll get this thing in orbit. And sorry you guys can't see right now, obviously. There's stuff in the way. Okay, let's just continuously burn here. What is that? Oh, that's that's this. Question mark? Maybe it was a test. I think it was a test. There was a few tests before this actually went down. <laughs> or I'm streaming this now. Uh, just because... You have to test it before you stream it. I mean, it's like... 
It's like a chef. They have to eat the food before they feed it to somebody else. Which it just makes sense. I've catched my first stream of you. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Hey, how's it going, B. McClurry? All right. So we are, in fact, in orbit. We can go ahead and get rid of this massive fairing. And that will probably... Oh, look, another fairing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh-huh. Uh, you guys will see it in a second. Don't worry. Um, I won't fully expand it. Yes, this thing is expandable. You, all you have to do is hit slider one all the way up, and boom, it just pops open like it's nothing. Okay, so... Time to find... So we have 1,901. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see where our position is from Eurados. Okay, far. All right, so very, very, very far. All right, all the way out there. I think it's the biggest thing. Yes, it is the, the farthest thing away. Of course, they put rings on the farthest thing out. Um, <laughs> it's like, hey, guys, let's make everybody... Struggle by getting out there if they're not good enough. <laughs> like, I'm not saying if you aren't good enough, you could easily download somebody else's thing and uh, go out there, but it is kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Um, it does take videos like these to figure out where you're at and where you're going. So, we need this pointed like at the sun, and Earth needs to be about right right around here because if this is 90 degrees we need to be about 109 so we're just gonna fast forward this all the way around and now where is Eurados? okay so we're gonna try in a couple different spots i mean you gotta try it and the the easiest way okay so well, let's just Fast forward a little bit and get you on a, a different area. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so go to to go blah, 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 uh, going to Eurados. It is very very far. It takes a lot of delta v, and when I mean a lot, you can see how much delta v right here that I'm using so far is 129. Well, that's gonna go way up to like 5,000 delta v very quickly. So we're out of the sphere of influence of Earth. Now we're just continuously burning for a very, very long time. And if you don't get it correct the first time, don't worry about it. Um, so like right now, I, phew, it's gone. It is past it. There is no way I am catching up to that. So either I have two choices. I have one I could go exactly where he is at. Or, well, well, me. Or, I could do it, I could fast forward it again and see if that works. If it doesn't work right there, then we can always, always fast forward and just keep going around till you get it. Uh, it does take... You're kidding me, right? You're telling me that that is an inner... No. No, no, it's close. It's very close, but it is not where I want it to be. And how to see it is you can kind of, if you put your cursor on this, you can see all the details that pop up. So you got stuff over here on the left side of the screen that says 4.3. I, I can't read that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Let's go a little bit farther. Ooh, too, too far, too far. Okay, so you see how it kind of like moved a little bit and shifted? That kind that basically means you're gonna hit it. Um, it's really not giving me a 100% like encounter, like you will encounter this then or right now or something like that. I wish I could click on one of these things. There we go. So if I click on that and then click on this, that goes away. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, so it looks like 
we're gonna hit it regardless of where we're actually at. So let me let me show you guys a little closer. So you can actually see it coming in, coming in, coming in, and then right there is going to be our closest approach. So it even has enter of sphere influence, exit, enter. Okay, so so there we are. We are very close to it, and you can do that just by up here in the map view. Ugh, I have not looked down. I have totally missed everything. Okay. Wow, brother, I like your videos. Thank you, Spaceman. Uh, thank you very much. Don't forget that the uh, Super Chat's open. Um, iPad Pro 2019. What? <laughs> what are you talking about devices, are you? Okay, so it looks like that is going to be good. I'm just going to hit F5 just in case. Uh, I do want to fast forward. This accuracy is high. So look at the Delta V, guys. From comparison, the last time we tried it and it didn't work, we almost did 6,000 Delta V. And I would say 6,000 is too much. If, if you want 6,000 Delta V to go to Mars and back, that'll be good. Um, but 5,100, that seems pretty good to me, and it's a high accuracy, so we're going to go ahead and do this auto burn nicely. Hopefully everything works out okay. Um, alrighty then. So, I really hope that everything goes well. I did hit F5, but who knows. Um, alright, so... Onward. So we're going to have to stay. Of course, we're on the dark side. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it on the dark side. Wish I had lights. Uh, when this thing is out of fuel, we will go ahead and stage it really fast. So we have 900, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And wait till the fuel is gone. Stage. Stage. And now we got some nice old uh, hydrox burning. And we can get rid of the fairing. Boom. Okay, so we are booming now. <clears throat> Apparently I like the word boom today. Jack does. Hello, hello. How's it going? And welcome all. Welcome all. You guys are awesome. You guys are the ones that are keeping this channel a going, a going and a flowing. <laughs> um, those of you that are in here as of right now, I am going to be on Discord after this, and I'm going to be streaming a game called Daisy. If you haven't heard of it, it's new, well, new to me and my fiance. Uh, we've been playing it, and I'm just kind of learning and running around, and I died twice so far. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's a pretty fun game. It's a nice survival zombie game. It's like The Walking Dead, but in a game. It's quite fun, and uh, yeah, I'll be just I'll just be in the Discord, probably playing it. Um, I'll be streaming it too in the Discord. So if you don't have Discord, sign up and get one already. If you don't want to join, then fine. Um, you need to join anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, maybe, just maybe, I will be streaming it. This is a long burn. Like, this is a long burn. Like, there, there's the little tiny satellite, guys. The little tiny satellite. Everything, all the other fuel is just to get there. That's it. It's, it's crazy. Unbelievable. He posts them afterwards. Yes, I will post this after I am done. You'll be able to go there. I'll post the whole thing so that way you have the 400 kg lift, which total overkill for it. But um, I'm not gonna screw you guys on that. I want you guys to be able to go out and check out these rings for yourself. 
and to have the nice satellite that I built. It was pretty cool building it. Uh, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, ah, this is just gonna be a stupid satellite. It's just gonna be pointless. There's no like connection that actually happens. But I made it the Mic 11 style, so it's kind of, it unfolds in a way. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Anyway, we're getting near the end of the burn, finally. There we go. And it says that we are not even going to come close to it. This is when a lot of people freak out and say, Oh, I passed it. I'm just going to rewind and try it again. Don't rewind and try it again. If you're this close, if you are this close to it, you are fine. You can easily do small adjustments. If you do them closer to where you're at right now, they're going to be very fast, but they're going to have more effect with less delta V. If you do it right next to it, you're going to be struggling. You don't want to struggle. This isn't a struggle bus. I try to make things as easy as possible. As possible, guys. This is rocket science here we're talking about. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is a couple things. First, we're going to go radial in and see if no okay so that's not a hundred percent working so if we go radial nope that is not a hundred percent working so it looks like we may or may not need to slow down so i'm going to cancel that one start a new one let's there we go you see that it was like it was like instant and how much delta v are we using seven seven we're using 7 delta V to do that. So it's almost nothing. So we're going to put our pinpoint right here around Mars. And all we're going to do is turn the burn gizmo setting sensitivity down to 5. And we're just going to do a little tiny back burn. Just until it says we have an encounter. And then when you have an encounter, you can actually go over to here to where the planet actually is at in the solar system as of right now, and you can see where it's at. So you're like, okay, so it's right there. What happens if I do this? Okay, either nothing is happening, or I just totally messed that up. I have no idea what I just did. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uh, if we can hit it, if we can hit the planet and have it just explode, I'm okay with that too. Not really. I don't want it to explode because that's that's not why we're here. Uh, I do want to get as close as I can to it, and that seems pretty dang close. So we're going to do this little auto... Oh, that is your next orbit. The yellow is what you're looking at. Um... All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this auto burn here. Oh, I forgot to hit F5 before I did that, but that's okay. Oh, come on. What, what are you doing? Okay, that's kind of cool. But what just happened? Okay, I think we left the sphere of influence. So confused. So confused. What is going on? Okay, I think 100% sure that Earth is... Yeah, Earth is gone. So the next orbit, this should do it. Uh, it's not a new planet. It's They just made it look better. Yeah, just like McClory says. When are we going to have planets and moons with tiny gravity? That would be so cool. You can actually download... Um, it is a mod. If you're on mobile, sorry, but... Um, I don't know what happened here, but let's, let's just reset that real quick. Um... But what you can do is you can download, if you're on PC, you could download Tidos Dawn for a mod. And this will actually uh, 
not actually like activate more planets. You have to basically mod them into the game yourself, and it, it's actually quite interesting to have more planets and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know why I can't see anything at all that's so weird. I'm trying to get it so it's... Uh, no, not that way. If anything, there. Well, I can't click on it. I can't do anything. Uh, okay, that's close enough. Let's just go to it and burn. Hope for the best. 55 Delta V. That's it. That is it. We have 5,900 in this big old tank. It's 37% gone. Alright. So we are officially a heck of a lot closer to it. So now what I'm going to do is I like to make an adjustment right after I leave so that way it's easy and then one before it. So the first one is going to be the 100% adjustment. Thank you, Evan Club and Space. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Rocket Crazy. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Just so you guys are aware, Super Chat is open. Feel free to help me get a telescope. That would be awesome. Your name will be in the mentions for it. Um. Okay. So, it's going to tag one right here. It's going to bring us really close to it and now I'm going to be able to see where the planet is so now I want to get as close as I can to it as possible and if I can do this that would be easy maybe this is the right one question mark um no that is not it <laughs> uh, let's bring this up a little bit more it's a little quicker okay so it looks like <clears throat> i need water <laughs> uh okay there we go bring it nice and close and then what are we at 44, 46 delta V, so that's not, that's not bad at all. Woo. That's not bad at all. So the farther you are away from your target, it's going to be easier to adjust. So you don't want to be in the sphere of influence and then be like, you're passing it way over here and you're like, if I retrograde right over here, it's not going to do anything, guys. It's not going to do anything anything you need to be really close to your planet even if it has an atmosphere so if it has an atmosphere you can actually arrow break and that would be easier oh, my arm jeez i was working today and decided to set the very hot tool on my arm by accident that was fun it burned very bad very bad indeed so i'm gonna get this so stinking close it's gonna it's going to make our eyes bleed because it's so close. It's making my eyes bleed. Um, Looks like we're still very, very far away from it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so close. I want to be able to just burn just a little bit just to get us in the right path. Look at that. I'm going to bring this down to zero. Okay, I think we needed at least that one. Um, I'm trying to get it so it's somewhat even. I think that will be fine. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Do this adjustment burn. That is going to make us fly over there like crazy. Where's Earth? Or is Earth gone? Yeah, Earth is way gone. I forgot about that. Okay, let's just continue continue on. <laughs> uh please don't spam, my friend. Please do not spam. Hello, Kerbal Master. Hello.
We're at 5,905 Delta V when we started. I love it. Like, so little Delta V. It's awesome. All right. So our closest approach. So that's a good close approach. You don't want to be too close to the planet. So what I'm going to do now is fast forward till we get to the sphere of influence of it. And it will stop. If it doesn't, then I am utterly screwed. So I'm going to hit F5. Okay, it's a million times fast forward. In Kerbal Space Program, this would take years to do. Okay, that was very quick, and I am still very far away from the planet, I do believe. Wait, where is it? Where's the blue dot? Where? <laughs> what the heck? Why can't I see it? Okay, it's over in these... This two region. That's not it. Where is it? Why can't I see it? Oh, I was looking in the wrong area. But still, why can't I see it? And now I'm blind. Okay, anyway. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. I want to be able to see where we're at. Okay, if it's behind the craft... There it is, that little tiny blue dot. I love it. I love that little tiny blue dot. Okay, so 3,000 kilometers. That seems like it's pretty good. Let's get a little. Oh, I don't want to burn. No, nope, 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 nope. I don't want to burn. I just want to fast forward till I hit over here. So this would be like... If you guys don't know, this would be your radial in. This is your radial out. Right now, I'm going radial in. Radial in means you're going in toward the planet. <sighs> so glad that time warp is activated because I actually accidentally hit spacebar and it read that little message saying cannot activate stage. <laughs> that stage is the main thing that's going to slow it down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this in a little bit. And we're going to waste about... We're not wasting a lot of Delta V at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this burn automatically. Or manually, not automatically. Um, eh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just mess that up? Am I coming way too close? I think I'm coming way too close to the planet. Cause we'll just we'll just go to a thousand and we'll hit F five and hopefully we don't implode. Maybe. Maybe. Closer. Twenty viewers. Whoop whoop. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, also, guys, it's freaking amazing. 1,400 subs. Like, come on. I hit 1,000 subs, and then all of a sudden, boom, just a whole bunch of you guys just came over. I mean, it's awesome. I'm not complaining, but that's just, it blew my mind, guys. I was so surprised, and, oh, it just blew my mind, and I was just so excited. Oh, gosh. Almost went a little too quick. Oh, look at the rings, guys. Look at the rings. Oh, we're just, we're so far away. But look at, look at the rings. They're beautiful. Oh, just beautiful rings. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. That is awesome. This totally deserves like a hundred likes on this video right now. Just for the, these rings. Not for me. Just for these rings. These rings just made this game so much more better around Eurados. Look at that. That is oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I want to cry. Not really. You won't. You probably won't see me cry. Um. Maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Oh, look at that.
Look at that. Look like the shine is coming off the rings. You can see individual rings. Oh my god. Oh, and look at this. That's cool. I like this. This is awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and get into an orbit so that way we don't fly off into space and die for some weird reason. All right. Three, two, one, full burn. It's not really that much of a burn, but it's a something. All right, and we're going to get this right at 10. Cause I, I just want to do like a little experiment with it. So we're at 10. I want to see how big the rings are. So like, I want to be like almost in the rings for a second. So we're going to hit F5 right now, since right now we're good. AGL, I mean, we're, we're, we're good. We're good to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stage it. Oh my god. That is freaking beautiful. I don't even care if you can't even see my craft right now, but that is beautiful. We'll probably hit this orbit again. But without further ado, we have our little baby satellite. It's not actually like baby satellite. It's actually pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and blow that up, too. Hopefully he doesn't kill me in the process. Um, all right, so we got a nice, nice view with a nice satellite, guys. Very nice everything. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing into a good rotation. Okay, we're just going to go like this. I want it like that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, maybe not rotated like that. There we go. There we go. Fly through the rings. That's the plan. That is the plan. Okay, so very easy. There is like no activation groups on this thing at all. I really don't know why. There's one, two, three, and then these. Oh, I know why. That. All the one, two, three, all these. Just only pay attention to RCS when you do get the craft. Um, literally, the only thing that you need to worry about is slider one. And what happens when you hit slider one? Boop. And it just expands into a satellite. These things actually fold out and everything. And then you can activate the solar panels. And bam, it kind of looks like a boombox, but it is a very beefy, beefy satellite. If it worked, it would be a beefy satellite. And with all everything topped on that, we got the McLovin space symbol. If you guys can, if you guys can see that. But look at that! All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Like, look at that. That's even better. Oh, the best part, guys. You're probably wondering, what is that black stick just sitting there? It's just, it's really weird. It's a selfie stick. <laughs> if you hit slider two and go up, you can actually get all of it in one big old nice picture. Look at the solar panels. You could actually see like the rings individually, kind of. If I like do this, you can kind of see the individual rings. But oh, that is cool. And there you go. Oh, not, I don't even know what F11 does. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, that's not a good picture. There we go. Yes. Yes. Let's see what happens when we do a nice good old flyby. Dead. Dead. That looks so cool. If I hi if I hid my mouse, <laughs> the space boom box. Look at that. 
I'm smiling about it. That is so cool. Oh, the rings are beautiful. Great job, guys. Great job. All right, now let's try to go through. Okay, fast forward. Okay, so right now we're going to go out till we hit the 10. So they are definitely not at 10. They're about like 7. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Wee, And then back around. All right. I'm just going to wait till we hit our good old time. Oh, look at the shine. You can see everything. Oh, I love it. I love it. You can see like the rings in the actual like satellite dishes. I couldn't think of the name. Like, I couldn't think of the name. Anyway, uh, let's see. So we need to go prograde, right? Oh, we're, we're orbiting backwards. Huh, who would have thought? He has pleased the masses. <laughs> Great, now land on your autos. I know you can. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would be a a good plan anyway um all right so we're going to activate this next little tiny baby engine in the back of this thing very tiny uh it does have a thousand delta v once you get to it so you have in total i do believe is sixteen thousand delta v so if you can't oh wait no we need to go retrograde i am stupid duh and now we can do a full burn I want to wait till we're at like seven or like five. I want to wait till like six. There we go. Somewhere right there. <laughs> I want to be able to go through the rings. That is my plan. I want to touch the rings. I think we just did. No, we didn't. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, we're close. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, gosh. Whoa. First contact. It's paper thin. Like, I had <laughs> paper thin. Like, so paper thin. Wait, question mark? Once we got close to it... Oh, we're in it. That's cool. That is cool. But I really wish... Oh, like, you can almost make it disappear. Just a little bit... Uh, okay, whatever. Um, But yeah, we are in it. Like, that is cool. Like, we are actually in it. You can see, like, the rings flying by... Oh, come on. Where is it? There it is. But yes, we are in the ring, so you can go right through them. Oh, that looks so cool. I wonder what... Like... For real, though. How many pictures am I going to take? <laughs> like, seriously? Oh, there's a video for you. Different camera view. A speedy one. Shoom. <laughs> you just see a speck go through it. <laughs> That's great. I wish it had an actual rocks and ice and looks... I wish it had like an asteroid belt. What? <laughs> and then it just disappears. <laughs> I'm magic. <laughs> oh, that's that's weird. That's that's definitely a bug. That's definitely a bug. Okay, so I feel like I'm like just too close to it, but that is just oh, that is beautiful, guys. That is just beautiful. Ah, oh, that is awesome. So last chance for super chat, guys. If anybody wants to, don't feel bad. If you don't have any money and don't or can't, that's fine. Don't worry about it at all. Um. I would like to say thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Oh my gosh, hey, there's a dollar. What's up, man? 
That's awesome. I have no idea how to pronounce that at all. I'm not going to butcher it, but I'm going to call you Voss. Or, or yeah, I'm going to call you Voss. Um, yeah, thank you very much for the dollar, man. It means a lot. Your name will be in the little... <sighs> I can't even think of it now. It will be in the telescope area. It will be in the names mentioned. Uh, thank you very much. Um... Yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, um, don't forget in the Discord channel, I'm going to be there in like 10 minutes maybe. And I'm going to be streaming a game called Daisy if you guys are interested. It's kind of like The Walking Dead. Um, but in survival, me and the fiance play it. Well, we've recently got it and, and we're playing it. So it's kind of fun. Uh, it's actually not kind of fun. It's really fun. I recently just died, but, um, I'm okay. That was weird, but I'm dying and going to heaven because I'm seeing this beautiful sight of rings. It's awesome. All right. Thanks guys. Don't forget to, uh, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.